Now to some alarming news, especially for parents. Mental health concerns, they're getting worse for our kids and for our teens. Sinclair Cares, mental health support and hope. A public service partnership between Sinclair and NAMI, the National Alliance on Mental Illness. This month, CBS 6 is taking part in the Sinclair Cares Mental Health Support and Hope campaign. And as the number of kids and teens battling depression and anxiety is rising, today we take a look at the one group that seems to be struggling the most, teenage girls. I think there was a lot of kids who suffered in silence before with a lot of depression and anxiety and they didn't have a place to go and they didn't feel like there was somebody who understood them. The Sinclair Cares Awareness Campaign provided help and hope, guiding users to NAMI's local network of over 650 affiliates across the nation, connecting people with resources and support groups in their community. So a lot of times we'll get calls from individuals who like just don't know where to start. They know that they need help, uh, but they're not sure where to go. And so we can help navigate the system for them. Through news stories broadcast across the country on Sinclair's network of television stations. We spoke with Dr. Ken Duckworth, medical director at NAMI, about how we can talk to a loved one about mental illness. Sinclair set up live interviews with NAMI's chief medical officer, Dr. Ken Duckworth, on the national desk and 22 news stations across the country to talk about NAMI's book, You Are Not Alone. What are some common signs and symptoms of mental illness that we should be aware of? Yeah, persistent in issues with mood, behavior, and thought that are impacting your functioning. So for a teenager, it might be a big drop off in grades and loss of interest in peers severe isolation. I have uh, utilized your resources online and shared them with uh, family members who were in uh, some dark times and so personally let me say thank you but also you know what oh thank you <laughs> Kim it's it's so true it's so important you know my father had very bad bipolar disorder so you and I share something, which is this is in our lives. How did NAMI help you, Kim? Well, I think it gave some clarity and some guidance to someone who, like you said, was, was proud and said, I don't need help. I'm just anxious. I'm stressed. I've got lots going on with school and life and maybe feelings of, you know, am I good enough? To dig deeper on the issue of mental health, Sinclair produced an hour-long town hall in partnership with NAMI. We hope that for the next hour as we share mental health support and hope you or someone you love will find help in ways you never thought possible. Over 90 airings of the town hall were broadcast on Sinclair stations and streamed on all news websites. What advice do you have for other people if they're watching this right now and, you know, they saw your story and they said, wow, I'm really feeling that way or I'm considering harming myself or taking my own life. What do you want them to know? I want to know that in those moments when things really seem hard and that when your problems seem really, really big, just to take a step back and to really think about your whole life, honestly. Just think about what the impact of you doing this harming yourself can do, not only to yourself, but to other people, your family, your loved ones. And to realize that there will be good days, there will be bad days, but you just have to hold on for the good days. Donated promotional and public service announcements aired on Sinclair television stations and Tennis Channel. All dedicated to amplify NAMI's voice, helping people find hope and to help destigmatize the issue of mental health. I think honestly the biggest piece of advice that I have is ask for help and like don't sit in the dark and just wait for things to change because most of the time you have to take action. Our slogan is you are not alone. So we just want to remind people like you're not alone, like it's okay to reach out, you're not weak. Our nation is in a mental health crisis. It's only been made worse by the pandemic. We're especially grateful to Sinclair Cares for recognizing the need that exists out there and making it part of their agenda as well as ours. You know, young people are especially affected by the mental health crisis. In fact, one in four teens have been diagnosed with some form of mental health condition. So the focus on young people and young adults is especially important as a part of this partnership because we know that reaching them early can make a world of difference later on in life. Sinclair Cares, mental health, support and hope.